name's Rich Harrington, and I'd like to show you my favorite transition inside Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, if you're looking for transitions, there's only so many included with Premiere. The options here are okay, but as you twirl down these bins, you see there's really not that many choices. Well, there is one that's incredibly flexible, and that is the gradient wipe. Now, when you drag this over and apply it to a clip, you're gonna be pretty underwhelmed. That's because there's just a single gradient in here, and I could make that a little bit softer and click OK, but if you watch, not much happened. You're like, well, okay, it's a soft edge transition. Well, it can be a lot more than that, and that's because you can make this gradient anything you'd like. I recommend with the sequence open, you choose File, New, Photoshop File, and this will automatically give you the sizes and the frame rate for the correct Photoshop file that'll match the current sequence. You can click OK. It's going to ask you to save that. Choose a good location. And click OK. When you do, Photoshop will open up. Now, this is just a PSD file, and this is fine. And I'm going to start by using the normal gradient here. So I'll just choose a gradient, and we'll go black to white. Let's just reset these. There we go. And nice, simple, linear gradient from top to bottom. I'll go ahead and save that and switch it over to Premiere. And you'll see that that file is right there. So now, with the wipe selected, have the ability to choose which gradient I want to use. I'll click Custom, choose Select Image, and Navigate, and choose Open. There it is. I can adjust the softness, click OK, and watch what happens. Nice soft transition from top to bottom. Now in this particular case, the train is moving a little bit from left to right, and I think it might make sense to change the type of wipe. So I'll just go ahead with the wipe selected there in the bin, press Command E, and I'm back into Photoshop. So now I can make a small change, put a little bit of dither in there for some noise to smooth it out, click OK. Let's go ahead and hit Save to update that. And what I recommend is if you want to keep making tweaks, you just reapply the effect. Sometimes it'll latch on to the last gradient used if you're just changing its name. There we go. There's our soft edge transition. And if it's not the direction I want, I could just select it and click the reverse button here and it will change directions. There we go. Now those are all pretty straightforward, but I want you to see that it doesn't have to be. For example, you can get as elaborate here as you want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this layer off for a second and make a new empty layer and we'll fill that with 50% gray. This is a nice neutral mid-tone and take advantage of the cloud filter. There we go. And each time you run that, it looks a little different. I'll press L for levels and just punch that up a bit. Looks good. And let's just soften that a bit with a bit more of a blur. Good. Close and save. Come back over here and we'll just reapply that. Grab the effect. Choose an image. Adjust the softness and click OK. And I want to go ahead and make that transition a little longer. So I'm going to bump that up to two full seconds. All right, let's have a look. And you see we have that soft cloud transition. Now, I may need to render this effect for it to play back smoothly. And that's no big deal. 
you see it's a nice quick process. And there it is. So very versatile. And remember, you can keep updating this all day long. So as you're working, if you're not happy with the transition, just bounce on over to Photoshop, open up that transition file that you've been using, and you could tweak it. And you can use any type of imagery. So you can use what you have, or just create your own gradient. You know, here's a nice soft edge. I'll go ahead and click OK, close and save. And what you're going to see now is a gentle transition. So I'll choose custom, select my image, and load it. Now, if it doesn't update, which sometimes could be the case, you can go ahead and just clear that out, grab the effect again, and apply it, and just reselect the image and click OK. Now it's good that as you update the image it doesn't keep changing the effect. This gives you the flexibility that if you were to modify the gradient pattern you wouldn't have to worry about screwing things up in your timeline. So lots of options here. The ability to customize, change where it starts or ends, and this is a nice soft edge transition here with that soft spot focus pulling into the middle. Remember I can always choose reverse and it's going to go the opposite way. So, incredible flexibility here with the Gradient Wipe. I invite you to check it out. Be sure you go ahead and explore all the options. And it's really a great way to put Photoshop and Premiere Pro together in the same project.